Well, as you know, the throat chakra is the first energy center that connects us to the universe. So basically, if we can state something clearly, invariably, we're going to manifest it. How has this worked for you in reference to the reality that you created, that you loved, versus manifesting more of what you didn't necessarily want? Um, reactive versus proactive and oh. clarity. Oh. <laughs> Two oh. things. Tell us everything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think a lot of us get, um, whether it's unintentional or just accidental, we get into phases or cycles where we, we live reactively. Mm. And this is where things just come into your path and you don't actually think whether you want them or not. You just deal with them mm. as they come. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing. And then clarity as well. So right around that time when I was in the house, I was sort of looking around myself and thinking, I, I'm not so sure about my living space anymore. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just kind of up until that point had just lived, you know, I was just doing the events because I thought that that was cool. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of liked the people I was around, but I never really looked at it from, is it right for me? Mm -hmm. And I was just working for Tony and thinking, is this actually where I want to be? I never really asked those deeper questions um, until when I came to Australia for the first time and I was run running his Date with Destiny event in um, Gold Coast. And after the event, this is probably, and I talked to you about this, this yep. is the Saturn Returns, right? So yep. it's about 27 and a half. Yep. I was out on a boat in um, the, the breakwaters up, you know, in Brisbane. And it was after the event and it was some of the, the team that, was there at the event, but there was also some very high powered people. So there was, gosh, there's like an oil tycoon's son. There's a journalist. It was just a really weird mishmash of people. Mm -hmm. And I was on this boat with them and I heard that thing again, you know, average of the five people. And in that moment I was staring at these people. <laughs> I always get goosebumps when I hear it. Yep. I was staring at the people around me and I thought, if I don't make a change, if I don't choose to make a change, then I'm never going to have what I want. Yeah. And it was like the boat started spinning. I remember it. I literally felt like things were spinning and it was really weird. Um, but I went back home and I broke off my relationship. Mm -hmm. I basically went into my boss and I said, I'm moving to Australia. <laughs> they all thought I was crazy. Mm. But I decided I wanted to leave my, my other social group and I loved Australia and I was just going to go do it. Mm. So Clarity happened in that moment. And also I began to be very proactive about my next steps. Mm. So when that happened, things moved very fast. And within three short months, I had sold my car. Um, I remember thinking, and this, this is an example of, of how those two things work. I was having a garage sale where I was selling my stuff so I could leave the country. And um, everything was sold except for my mattress and my mattress is sitting there. I'm thinking, oh, my God, I have to be out of this apartment tomorrow. What am I going to do? I don't have a truck. How do I? And it's like after 5 p.m. Bad planning on my part, but I had a mattress. I'm sitting there thinking, what do I do? No kidding. This truck pulls up next to me. And it was like, um, you know, one of the Salvo sort of trucks. Yep. Um, it pulls up next to me. It parks on the side of the street. And this guy gets out and he's like, are you looking to get rid of that mattress? <laughs> and I said... I said, what? He goes, yeah, I live here. And, you know, in two years, I have never driven my work truck home. <gasps> That's incredible. <laughs> I know. And he took it. He took the mattress. And, and it was just, and I remember thinking that, and I, wow, okay, so when you're really that razor edge clear on mm. what you want and you're fighting for it and you're going after it, really interesting things start to happen. It's true. It's true. I think that a lot of the time we're perceived as being really lucky or we see certain people as being lucky, but they're not. They're in flow. Because yeah. when you're in flow, you don't have to force things. And when you're in flow, you're so clear that you jump on opportunities when they present themselves. You don't second guess. You don't lament about the past. You don't worry about the future. You're just there. You're very present and in the flow. I love that story. Mm. It's, wow. it's, yeah. There's oftentimes parts in my life when um, I want to get back to that. And to be honest, I've never quite gotten back to that moment of really being in the zone like that, like I was then when I moved countries. Really? Um, no, but I'm getting, I'm, I'm kind of coming into it again now, which is interesting. That's but again, really that's fascinating because I feel uh, that you are. So it's interesting that you think you're not. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yes and no. Yes and no, but not there yet, not to the point. And you know why, though, Patty? It's just because over the last five years, I've just kind of lost clarity. Really? Just been a bit reactive as well. How it started out, uh, you know, five years ago, and I started this business different. Mm -hmm. It's recently gone a little bit more muddy in the last couple of years. Mm, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm.